In this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to get started using the audio recorder here in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to my five minute GarageBand tip series. Now there are a heap of options here in the audio recorder. So I've got timestamps down below. You'll also find more detailed videos down there and make sure you subscribe because we'll be covering each of these different options in this series. To add an audio recorder track, we're gonna hit the plus button here and go to audio recorder. Now, if we just tap in the middle there, it's gonna open a default lead vocals audio recorder track or whatever you've used last. To instead choose the type of track, tap on more sounds and then select from one of the menus. We've got keyboards, guitars, vocals, a whole bunch of stuff. Again, there's videos about all of those linked in the description. For this one, we're just gonna choose the lead vocals. Now, without any audio interface or microphone plugged in, you'll see that the channel here is mic, which means it's using the built-in mic. You can also use a pair of headphones that have a built-in mic. With these sort of analog microphones, you can change your input gain by turning it down and up over here. So I recommend making sure that you're not hitting the red or the yellow. And keep in mind, you will need to use headphones, otherwise you're going to hear the playback of your tracks in your audio recording. However, for the best quality recordings, you'll want to use a USB microphone or audio interface. And for more information about how to use and choose an audio interface, head over to studiolivetoday.com slash gear. To adjust our input options, tap on the input jack. Interapp Audio allows you to use an instrument or an effect to record here in GarageBand. And again, more videos on that in the description. Channel controls which input on your audio interface or device will be used. Input one, input two, or stereo which will use both inputs on the left and the right. If you're recording just one microphone, you usually just want one input. You can also select channel down the bottom. The monitor option allows you to hear the microphone, check one, two, or not hear it while you're recording. And the noise gate is handy to turn on when you've got some background noise or room noise that you wanna remove and you can adjust using the slider. On the right side, we have the output gain, which is linked to our volume slider here on the track. And you can also turn your monitoring on and off in the same spot. When you're ready to record, hit the record button. Before or after you record your audio, you can change the preset here by tapping in the middle there and moving it to another one. Let's hear this with this sweet chorus preset. You'll also notice that there's not only vocal presets, but also instrument presets. So if you're plugging in a keyboard or an acoustic guitar, for instance, you've got presets for those. Each preset comes with its own set of effects built in, and you can change those by turning these dials to the left or the right. And these effects actually link in with our plugins and effects up the top here. So if we tap on our effects button there and go to plugins and EQ, all of these actually correlate with these. So when we start changing, say, the compressor, you can see that the compression settings change here and that's the same for all of our different effects and we can even turn them off and on using these blue lights I mentioned it before, but monitoring is one of the most important parts of recording with monitoring off you won't hear the audio coming back through when you turn it on, 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 on. You'll, you'll hear, hear those, those effects, effects and, and it's a personal preference as to whether you like recording with monitoring on or off if you're recording an instrument such as an electric guitar however you will want to have monitoring on or you won't hear much quite often you may want to record a completely clean audio track to do that tap on the presets here go to fun for some reason and tap on clean record in your clean audio and then of course you can add effects or change the preset after you've recorded finally some advanced options here if we go to our settings and go to track settings we can turn on multi-take recording which means we can record multiple takes and then select the one we want more on that in a video down in the description one final tip if you've got a multi-channel audio interface and you want to record two channels or more at once go up to your settings here go to advanced and tap on multi-track recording set your first track to channel one and your second track to channel two and then tap on both of these record lights when we hit record now it's going to record both There you have it, the audio recorder here in GarageBand. Heaps of very cool options. Don't forget there's a heap more videos if you want to learn more down in the description and I'll see you next time.